Hi foodies, how are you doing today? Thanks so much for joining me. If you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by and to my subscribers. Thank you for coming to watch another video. So today we're doing some cornmeal pudding. Yes, one of the popular desserts in Jamaica. We absolutely love this. I will be doing it a little bit different from what many of you might be used to, but I guarantee you the taste is absolutely delicious. All right, so stick around. Let's get into this. What I am doing here, guys, is I am heating up some coconut milk and I am going to be adding some other ingredients to that because what we're going to do is we're going to prepare this pot of liquid and then we are going to mix the cornmeal with some liquids and add it to the pot. So yes, cornmeal pudding and I'm starting out with a pot, right? So what I like to do is cook it on the stove first, all right? So here goes with our cornmeal, we're going to sift everything and um, try to find fine cornmeal. It's easier on the stomach and it just gives a nicer, smoother finish. Then we're adding some flour because this just helps to keep everything sturdy. You know what I mean? You get a nice slice when you're done. Now we have to flavor the cornmeal pudding, right? So we're going in with some cinnamon powder. And I'm gonna add some nutmeg. This nutmeg was freshly grated. You know I prefer that if you've been watching my videos. And I'm adding some sugar as well. Granulated sugar is, you know, pretty simple when it comes to sweetening. And then brown sugar adds moisture and flavor. And then we're gonna add some vanilla as well. So what we're trying to do is moisten this because we don't want to add the dry mixture to the liquid that I have on the stove right now because it will cause a lot of lumps. So we're going to moisten this, all right? And um, I like to use this big whisk for this step. And then now we're going to pour it into this liquid. So I brought it to a boil, but then I turned it down because if it's too high, we're going to get some lumps. So what I'm doing now is adding that moistened cornmeal mixture to the pot. And you want to make sure you keep stirring because if you don't stir, then the cornmeal will settle and then you're going to have a bunch of lumps. So while I'm doing this, I just continuously stir. And the, store, the heat is not high. All right, guys, so I switched to this little whisk. The reason I do that is because I want to get in every corner of the pot and whisk everything together because sometimes if you use something that's too big, then certain corners, you know, the, the cornmeal will stick to it. So I just use this whisk and then, you know, make sure I whisk it thoroughly and then I might switch back. So see, I switch back to the big one and then sometimes I switch back to my spoon. I just do what's best for the moment. So what's happening here is the cornmeal is getting nice and thick because we're partially cooking it on the stove. So, you know, that will give us the confidence that yes, the cornmeal is basically almost cooked. So my pudding is gonna be nice and smooth. And I did go in and add a little more butter off camera, guys. It's not supposed to be the consistency of cornmeal porridge. You want it to be uh, thicker than porridge. Now I'm going in with some raisins. If you have some raisins that are soaked, for like fruit cake, you can add those. But I wanted to, you know, keep those from a cake so I just added some regular raisins here and it's fine because I did add some rum right so we still have a little rum flavor in here 
now we're going to add the mixture to our cake tins so i just greased it with butter you can grease it and flour it i think that helps to give more of a crust if you like the crusty edges so i prepare the pan and then i'm just gonna pour that mixture in and what i love about this method guys is that the cornmeal is partially cooked already so the pudding won't take too long to cook and most of the cornmeal grains are softened already so you don't have to worry too much about that all right some people like to just do the other method where you just mix everything and throw in the pan right do what you're more comfortable with i learned this method from a co-worker some years ago and i love it now when we make cornmeal pudding in jamaica we call this thing custard or soft top or wet top so we do this for all the other puddings too like if you if you like it um it's just a moist top so it's kind of like a caramel on top so we're just cooking this for just a few minutes just to melt the sugar and then this is going to be poured on top of the pudding so when it's baked it has that nice moist syrupy top it's so good some people prefer to just have the dry pudding but i love to have that wet top so good when the pudding is warm oh my gosh Some folks like to add the custard to the pudding before, but I prefer to bake the pudding partially and then pour the custard top on it. So pour the liquid on it and then continue to bake it. So I bake it for like 40 minutes, then add the liquid and put it back in the oven. So today I'm making two puddings, right? So I just basically divide the liquid in half and put half on this one and then half is gonna go on the other pudding. And there it is guys, out of the oven. This is the first pudding. I put less of that wet top on this, but it's still really nice. And you can see there, the raisins didn't all sink to the bottom. Right, they are spread nicely even throughout the pudding, and then I'll show you the other one. Ooh, look at that! It's bubbling, guys, and the smell in the kitchen is amazing. Look at that! You can even turn on the broiler, guys. On this, you can turn on the broiler and let it caramelize even faster. So, when your pudding is done, right, you turn on the broiler and get that wet top to evaporate even faster but guys this is really delicious let me know in the comment section if you like a wet top pudding or if you like your pudding dry and let me know if you've ever done the stove top method thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next time
Thank you.